So I wanted to give a quick demonstration of how you can connect your document workflow into Microsoft Excel. So here I've started with a super basic workflow. Um, it's just got two questions here, one about the client name, one about the signature date, and that's all I'm going to start with for this basic example. Then I have my Excel spreadsheet and I have two columns set up, client name and date, which correspond to the variables that I want to be inserted into my fields uh, inside of the spreadsheet. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to Zapier, which is how I'm going to connect the two from document into, into Excel um, through Zapier. So I'll go into Zapier. I've already actually set up a Zap to make this simpler for the video. Zapier has a trigger app and an action app. So the trigger is what is going to, as, it names, as, as its name suggests, trigger the what's going to happen to the data. And the action is the final result. So we're setting up the, the trigger. We've used document. We've used the trigger event, which is workflow completed, which means that at, once the workflow is completed, the data at the end of that process will be sent over to Microsoft Excel. So once, in this case, those two questions are responded to and you go through to the end of the workflow, then the information is going to be passed forward. Then um, my action is a row in Microsoft Excel. What I have done is I've chosen my Microsoft Excel. I've connected it to my Microsoft Excel account. And then I've set up the action, which in this case is to first select the spreadsheet. So my spreadsheet was called Zapier Text test.xls. So I selected that spreadsheet. And the final part of this process is connecting the variable names inside of document into the spreadsheet columns. So in this case, I had a spreadsheet column called client name and one called date, and I've connected that to client name and signature date. So um, I've also sent over some test data and I, I've figured out that it works and I turned on the zap. Now um, let's go run this and see how it works. So I'll click run, I'll enter Jane Doe, put some information in, go to the end of the process, then I'll go back into the spreadsheet Refresh this over here, and as you can see, Jane Doe and the date have been displayed there. 